everybody. Um, this is going to be a video about Halloween in New Zealand because um, people keep asking me about it and getting kind of surprised when I say there's no Halloween here. And so I'm just going to explain as quick as I can how it actually is in this country. It's not something I thought about before I moved here or else, I don't know, I might not have actually moved here to be completely honest. Uh, something like Halloween would have stopped me from moving because it was like my favorite holiday and to know that they don't have it here kind of really sucks and it was a shock because you wouldn't think, um, you don't think about things like that when you move, you know, you just kind of assume that's just how it is. Um, but Halloween is becoming more and more, more bleh, more and more well known here as are a lot of American things and traditions, but it is still not a New Zealand thing. Um, the goths of course know about it. Some people know about it and there might be a couple of places. I don't know how it is again in the North Island or other big cities, the city that I'm in, there's like a handful of clubs and bars that might have a Halloween costume contest or Halloween day or whatever, um, Halloween night, uh, but they're few and far between and the costumes are usually very shitty, which I mean, how could they not be because you won't find Halloween stuff here. Uh, I have a, a couple of videos that show some of the Halloween areas for sale and as you can see, there's really nothing. You won't find good costumes or blood or anything. So everything that you do that's good, you have to learn to make yourself like I have. Uh, you will not find shit like that in stores here. Um, there's a store called Minifees that sells um, makeup and a little bit better quality things, but they're a makeup store. Um, not like MAC, but like special effects makeup and things like that. And so um, you'll find some, you know, some good quality things there at a very, very high price. Um, a lot of Kiwis don't know when Halloween is and they sometimes think it's in November um they'll oh fuck sorry <laughs> I keep trying to get comfy it's sort of painful um they uh what's going on here they don't know when Halloween is they think it's in November they don't follow it they don't like it they don't approve of it uh the Kiwi mentality here is they're very private people and even though like I've said before a lot of people kind of look edgy or alternative. They pretend or they act like they look down on people that are alternative, which doesn't make sense to me because so many of them look alternative. You know, they've got aspects of gothy or whatever, and they've got the dreads and the colored hair and piercings and tattoos. I mean, there are more teenagers with facial piercings here than I've ever seen anywhere else. And um, I thought that was quite cool, like, you'll, because they pierce themselves, and so their lips will be completely full, cheek piercings, everything. I mean, it's, it's not rare here, so you'd think that they would be a lot more open-minded, but they're just not. And they don't like people violating their personal space. And so, like, I've gone to go pick up items on, you know, from Trade Me, which is like uh, New Zealand eBay. And I've pulled across somebody's driveway looking for the house, and they've come out actually yelling at us to move because they don't like you parking in their driveway, in their space, anywhere around their house. And so there's actual interviews with people from here asking them what their thoughts are on Halloween. And they've said that they don't approve of it. They don't like it. And they don't like strange kids knocking on their door begging for candy because they consider all it is is begging for freebies. They don't see like, oh, it's a cool experience for kids. Oh, it's Halloween. They flat out call it begging and it's rude and disrespectful and they don't want some stupid kids coming to their house knocking on their door. Um, not to mention the cost of candy is very high here and so you don't really want to justify spending 50 or 60 bucks just to fill a good sized bowl of candy for strange kids who are going to come or who might not come because really you don't want to risk I don't see how, how any parent would risk taking their kids out trick-or-treating because it's so scary to go to these people's doors because they hate people knocking on the door so much. How do you know what houses are safe and you're not going to get screamed at? I mean, on Halloween, I was trying desperately to block out the fact that it was Halloween because I was so depressed from not 
just not being able to take part in it anymore, um, I had opened the my curtain here, which faces the front of the house, and I happened to see three costumers walking by, and I stood and I was like looking behind them and they thought I was looking at them and they stopped and they're staring at me and then I was like uh oh they're looking at me fuck I hope they don't come because I don't have any candy or anything and uh, I closed the curtain quickly and then they just moved on and um it's just how did they know what houses to go to when like 95% of the people won't accept trick-or-treaters it's just not a thing here it's not a big thing it's not a thing um you could drive around and not see anybody in costume. You could drive around and see maybe one or two kids. It's it's pretty safe to say it's virtually non-existent. There might be 1% of people that celebrate it, but it's not enough to say Halloween is here. Like some people from here, they like to dispute every single thing I say as if I don't live here too. Um, but they try to say, we have Halloween here. What are you talking about? It's becoming bigger. It might be becoming bigger in the fact that it might be three clubs this year that have a Halloween costume, con you know, contest instead of one, but that doesn't mean it's big. When you cannot drive your car down the street because there are hordes of kids trick-or-treating, when you cannot go to the mall or store without seeing people dolled up in their fucking awesome costumes, then you can say it's big here. When you can go to the store and see more than one end cap with Halloween decorations, and decorations that don't look like they're from some, you know, dollar store, third world country, then you can say there's Halloween here. There are not Halloween anything here. Um, the fake blood and the costumes and decorations are worse quality than what I have seen at Dollar General when I was there. Just to give you an idea, I should buy something one year just so that you could see how shit they actually are. Um, there was a there was a pack of lollipops, and they, they actually looked pretty cool. I wanted them, but I couldn't justify the price. They're white skeleton, white plastic skeleton bodies with a red brain head. About that big was the head, and about that big was the, the lollipop itself. And they wanted, like, over $10 for that pack, and it wasn't a big pack. Um, there was a cauldron. Their main thing here is gummies. Basically, everything's just gummy. They don't really have other flavors of stuff and kind of but not really they're usually just gummy body parts um there's a cauldron of gummy body parts and on sale it was ten dollars down from like 15 or 20 and so i bought that because i wanted the cauldron and when i got it home i dumped it out to mix everything up and those fucking cheap fuckers had a piece of styrofoam like that much so actually only about the top quarter of the cauldron was full the rest of it was just cardboard and the fucking um the styrofoam and it's like what the fuck man you know i mean it's just gummy and cheap marshmallows is all it was and it's just really ridiculous i mean i know it's not a new zealand thing they're not very accepting of other cultures anything they hate american american stuff but it's funny because when they taste american food nine times out of ten they'll be in love with oh my god like i gave some of a little bit of jiff I had left to uh, somebody that was over here for dinner the other day and I swear to God she almost orgasmed tasting it. She was just like, oh, because American peanut butter tastes so different from anything you will find here. They are not a fan of peanut butter anything here. It's very hard to find peanut butter flavored anything and um, just everything tastes so different and I have yet to meet somebody from here that has tasted American stuff and hasn't fallen instantly in love. So it makes you wonder where all the prejudice against American shit comes from. Because they sure do like it. They just don't like to admit that they like it. Just like they don't like to admit that they are kind of alternative here. When this could be such a cool country. So so open and accepting. Because the potential is definitely there. And um, the people are so diverse here. And you can find some really awesome looking people who just don't give a shit you know but they just uh i don't know they just don't treat people very good most of the time there have been a few people that are really cool and usually it's the older people and they'll just be like oh my god i love the way you look you look so awesome and they'll be totally over the top amazing really 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 cool but um sadly they're very few and far in between 
uh, hopefully this explains the Halloween thing and why a lot of times you won't see any Halloween posts from me. Like this year, I did not do Halloween. I didn't even attempt it, but everybody was writing. They were PMing me and then I got some comments on my page saying, I've been waiting and waiting to see what you're going to do for Halloween this year. And it was like, I'm not doing anything. And then um, they're asking, why don't you do Halloween? Why aren't you? because there's no Halloween here. And then I got to deal with the people from here. Yes, there is. What are you talking about? There's Halloween there. Oh, there was like three people in costume this year. You know, I really don't want to hear their, their blind bullshit because there is no Halloween here. Oh, <sighs> and I don't want to get into it. So I just usually ignore the comments. And so I was like, fuck it. I'll see if I can do some makeup, and throw together something to pretend I did Halloween just to give the, my new followers something to look at. And so that's what... I did with the, the video that I posted. Um, I literally slapped it on in less than half an hour. I just wrapped this gauze shit around my face, put on the blind contacts, uh, this whatever, and dabbed a bit of white makeup and then t uh, glued some shit on my face and then put some latex to make it look like my skin was cut out. And, uh, and then I made the video, which actually is no real editing to it. It's just, I was doing this with the camera and then I don't know, shaking my head around and it worked. <laughs> it actually looked pretty cool. And then I coupled it with the camera snap sound from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it actually looked pretty good considering I didn't put any effort in. If I had done a full body thing, because it ended right here and I just had like jammies on. Uh, if I had done like a full body thing, I think it could have looked pretty cool. But um, there's just really no point. You just, I waste valuable materials. Um, what little bit of stuff I do have to waste it just for a couple pictures and then to sit around at home like yeah so that was fun for an hour and now what and then especially if it looks good and then you can't go out and like show anybody I actually have to be scared if I got too dressed up and I try to go into town that I might get arrested or be made to leave because they're so not accommodating to things like that um next year Logan says we can try Halloween so I don't know how that's going to go if there's anywhere because like there was a bar that was supposed to have Halloween when I went last year and we drove by and there was like nobody there and then another bar and there was like nobody there and the only place we could find <coughs> was one club. It was totally packed. That's when I got all the pictures and with the teddy bear shit and um, but it was all ghetto like just boom 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 you know and girls just like whores everywhere and like I mean, I was too worried about being able to see because I had blind contact in. I was just as that teddy bear and I had one blind eye. I couldn't really see anything. But Logan, who, believe it or not, does not like girls that look like sluts, he was walking around and he was just shouting out at them, whore, slut. And like, I was like, oh, we're going to get stabbed or something. Um, and then like the girls would be like, hey, hey, hey. And he'd be like really loud mocking them. And I'm just like, oh my God, we better go home or we're going to end up in a fight. He was just fucking pissed off and he said never again I'm never going out again fucking sluts everywhere fucking whores damn people being stupid and then we had somebody throw beer on him and people screaming at us and it was just because they're not used to actual costumes like what we had they're just as like doctors and nurses and then face paint and kitty cats and devils and that's about it um so for me I want to go all out and bloody and scary and it's too over the top here and uh, we get a lot of abuse when we go out like that so I don't know if we'll find anything or if he'll change his mind but fingers crossed we will um I would love to have a Halloween party here but one it's a uh, light colored carpet and so if any blood or alcohol was spilled on that we're liable and two, we don't actually have any friends. And three, the couple of people that we do know, I don't really want anybody knowing where we live because if they do, who knows when they might drop by or if we get into another fight with people, they're going to come over and try to cause trouble and all this shit. It's just, I like having peace of mind to know that nobody knows where I am and I don't have to worry about drama and people and people and people and, you know. And going to somebody else's house, well, I don't know anybody and nobody celebrates Halloween. Or if they did, they know everybody that we're enemies with and chances of us 
going and running into people we hate is quite high and then that's another kind of drama and I know if I saw one of my tormentors somewhere I would have a fucking impossible time keeping my mouth shut and I would say something to them and if I did that would end really badly as well either for me or for Logan who would probably step in who I would hope would step in but even if he doesn't uh, it's not like I can't take care of myself I am going to the gym now <laughs> but um and uh and I can't drink anymore so to kind of stand around I'm socially awkward so I kind of need that drink to just stand around and like yeah so yeah it's just I I don't see how that's very much fun either so yeah nothing else to really say about that um I hope this cleared things up a little bit around a lot longer as always than I wanted it to but I'll see you guys later and I hope yeah I hope that this made some sense and if you're from New Zealand god for fuck's sake stop trying to tell me I'm wrong I'm not just sitting here making shit up if you want me to I can dig around and find those newspaper articles because I've got the physical newspaper because when I was interviewed as well where people say there is no Halloween here and they don't they don't like people knocking on their doors they don't like trick-or-treaters they don't believe in the begging and all that or you can just google it google New Zealand Halloween and you'll see articles coming up saying Halloween is not accepted nor um, celebrated in New Zealand um, I'm not just talking shit and I'm not just lying facts are facts are facts and that's just the way it is so take care everybody and I'll see you around